Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've been previewing a plugin that gives you a bunch of great hover effects. It's called Divi, Divi Image Hover. If anybody wants to try it out, I'll put it below the video here, the link. And we decided to do some ourselves and we've been doing all kinds of different hover effects. And the one we're going to do today is an icon with an image to text on hover. So you start off with a little icon down there. If you hover over the icon, it's going to pop up some text for you. Won't happen if you do it anywhere else, just if you hover over the icon section there. Really easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. OK, once the Builder's loaded, we'll go down to where we want to work. I'll go next door to here. I've got a section, a blue tab, with a row inside, the green tab with two columns and we'll start working on this second column here and as with a lot of image to text horror effects the way this is going to work today is our columns actually going to have the image in it and the text is going to be in a module that appears on top so let's add a module I'm going to use a blurb module because it's got a nice icon on it Divi comes as standard with all of these modules and I'm simply going to use the blurb module. Now text wise you can put in whatever it is you, you want to put in. I've got no real text here so I'll leave that as it is for the moment. I'm going to go down and say image to icon, image and icon here. I'm going to use an icon and because it, we're going to be scaling upwards I'm going to use a little up arrow but obviously you use whatever works for you. If I move this out of the way. Okay I don't particularly want to link my module to anything if you want to link yours to somewhere just put your link in here if you want to link the title if you want the whole module to link put the link in here. If you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window I would recommend you select in a new tab if you're linking to a separate site. Okay, background wise, I'm just going to put a, a sort of green color in there. Let's just choose a slightly nicer one than that one there. There we go, that'll work fine. Okay, let's move over to our design here. Image and icon. Well, I want that icon to be white in color and I want it to be a lot smaller. So I'm going to go down a little bit and use icon font size, switch the switch to on and bring it down to the size that I want it. Something like that's great. And I'm going to go down a bit further to the text and I'm just going to centralize that and make it light in color so we can see it. There we go, fantastic. Now I'm going to save this and let's put an image behind on the actual column. And to do that we need to go into the row. Remember we're working on column 2 here. Going to go down to background. Going to go over to image and select an image. I guess I'll use the same ones I did before. Now at the moment we can't see it because it's behind our content there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a fixed height, this column, and I'll make it the same height as our one next door, which was 400 picks. So I've got to write just a little bit of CSS for this, and I'll put this below the video. You're welcome to use it if you need to. Very simple though. Custom CSS, we're on the Advanced tab. Main element, I'm going to say height, colon, 400 picks. There we go. And as you can see, you can see that that image behind it now. Now, for the effect that I want, I've got to sort of push this down, then pull it up. And to stop it spilling outside of the column, I'm going to stay on our advanced tab in the column that we're in. I'm going to go down to visibility. And I'm going to put horizontal overflow and vertical overflow. To hidden so anything that comes out of that box our column you won't be able to see it so that'll enable us to do a nice little slide effect 
Okay, well, let's save that. Let's go back into our blurb module, save the main row. And let's make this a bit more like we want it. I'm going to copy some lorem ipsum text and just put a bit more text in there. So we've got more to work with. There we go, because we're using more space. Don't have to, but you can put more in if you've got more content like that. Now let's go over to our design and the spacing. And make this actually fit. So let's start off with padding top. I only want a little bit of padding on the top. I don't want too much. We'll say 20. And let's give it 50 left and right, which will squish that text a little bit. That's great. Let's give it 50 on the bottom as well. And that's got that covered pretty well. Great. But to make this actually work today, I'm going to have to slide it down. So I'm going to use the hover effect with the margin here, because we only want to see that when they're hovering over it. So common to a lot of Divi modules, if you hover over the dark legending, you'll find a little arrow. If you click on it, it'll give you two buttons, a desktop or non hover state when your mouse is not on it, and an arrow, which is when your mouse is on it. So in the desktop state, like this one, I only want to see a little bit of that green there. So I can give it a margin on the top that will push it down. Let's try 350. Maybe too much. Yeah, it's a little too much. I could I could actually take let's go 340. And I'll take a bit of that padding off of here. Take that down to zero, perhaps. No, let's take it, let's give it 10. 10 is too much, maybe five. Yeah, that's kind of okay. You can fine tune if you need to with the little arrows there. That'll kind of work right there. Then um, when we hover the mouse over it when they hover their mouse over this section we want it to be full width so if I flip this onto the hover one now I can put a zero margin in and let's put the padding back to how it was on the bottom which was 20 and also while we're here let's take a bit of the opacity away from the background color so we can see a bit of the image behind there as well so back to the content background, here's our color. If I just left click on it, right hand slider there's opacity or see throughness. If I pull it down, you can start to see the image behind. But of course, we still want to be able to read the writing well, so I'm not going to make it too transparent. The time it actually takes once they hover over it to hit the top there. Defaults 300 milliseconds. I want to speed mine up a little bit. So I'm going to go to advanced transitions. Well, I'm actually going to slow it down for drama. Make mine 600 milliseconds for a bit of drama there. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse over it. But I will use ease in and ease out. That's my favorite one for these zoom effects. These are all subtly different. Try them out. In certain instances, some will work better than others. I like the ease in and ease out, but that's entirely up to you. So let's save this one now. And let's just check the padding on that little icon there. Go back into the spacing. Something doesn't look quite right there. Padding on desktop. Yeah, that should be three picks. It should be 20 picks up there. That's correct. Yeah, just got to change that to three. That's better. Make sure it's correct on the top one. There we go. That should work fine. Let's save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder. 
and we'll go down and see what we've got here. See, I can hover over the image quite easily, nothing until I hover over the section with the icon, and then that slides up, taking about 0.6 of a second to get up the top there. And that's a nice little effect. You can create some lovely little info boxes with that, or little galleries with explanations and what have you. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.